Hi, it's Johnny from Classic Retrofit. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about a project we're working on to re-engineer the Porsche 964 and 993 HVAC system. Okay, so in the last video we showed you pulling apart the uh, HVAC box from a 964 and the quite horrible evaporator that came out of it all full of leaves and leaking. So this is the same unit now, we've been working on this one. Um, this is a, a prototype, but uh, it's pretty much near to what we'll be releasing for the for the car. So the first thing was to look at what the problems are with the existing system. So the 964 system has five of these uh, Heller servos, which are, well, they're notoriously unreliable because they have a problem with the um, the potentiometer inside there's there's some tracks in there which rub on a carbon track which wears out and what happens when that goes is that it gives the wrong signal back to the control unit in the car which makes the, the lever move in an unpredictable way so if you've ever got in your car and the heating's either stuck on hot or stuck on cold and you can't move the controls the controls have no effect it's probably down to one of these failing in the car so what we've done is we've um, chosen a modern uh, servo it's a high quality Bosch servo and we've re-engineered the levers uh, 3d printed them to perform the different functions on the on the airbox So this airbox has three servos fitted, I'll explain why in a minute, usually you'd have five so there'd be an extra one here and here, uh, and each, each one of these performs a different function. So this one's the uh, screen and centre uh, vent positioner, so it works on a, a universal joint that rotates and that moves this flap between that position and the top position. So this, this linkage has been re-engineered and if I just um, turn the controls a minute you can see the flap moving at the back so this is using the original Porsche universal joint but with our um, 3d printed coupler Okay, so this one is the uh, the foot well blower opener. So this controls a, a rod and then a shaft and then a flap down here. So I can operate that one. Uh, the centre one controls the recirculation so that uh, the air can either come in from the top of the hood or from inside the car. I'll operate that one. So that's the coming in from the hood position. And when it's down that, that brings the air in through the, through the cabin which improves the AC performance. So we've been looking at the, the heating um, aspect of the, the box. This side is uh, pretty much as standard at the moment just to show you what you normally get in a 964. So there's the, the fan in there, um, there's this kind of um, trumpet piece which is presumably something to do with directing the airflow into the centre there. And then there's the, the hole that comes up from the heat exchanger. So what normally happens is the heat comes up from the heat exchanger and then there's a mechanical flap here which goes up and down and regulates the amount of hot air that's going through the fan and then it comes out the back and then goes into the car. Um, so we're looking at doing this electrically. So this is what we've come up with in terms of uh, electric heating solution. So I'll take this off. So the first thing we've we've done is we've blocked off the bottom of the uh, the inlet so there's no hot air coming up from here because we, we don't need it anymore 
the flaps being, being deleted as well. We don't need that. And then this is a, a PTC electric heating element. And we've designed this so it fits in the place of the um, the trumpet that you saw on the other side. So that fits in position there. And this is a three stage heater. So this will be controlled by some electronics um, and ultimately by the, the cabin controller. The idea is that's all completely retrofit. So you, know, you wouldn't know it was even installed when it's all back together. So this particular unit is uh, is actually going to be installed in an electric uh, Porsche 964 with a 400 volt battery pack. So you'll see there's a 400 volt connector here and the, the heating elements are, are for that voltage. But ultimately we want it, what we want to do is offer a complete upgrade to the standard 12 volt road cars um, as a kit of parts so that you can install our bracket, our servos, with or without the electric heating or use the existing heat exchangers. So you've got a completely updated HVAC system on the car. So that all sounds great, doesn't it? But I know what's coming. The first comment I'm gonna get is, how much is this all gonna cost me? Well, I can't tell you that right now, but what I can tell you is that a single old school servo from Porsche costs 400 pounds. That's 400 pounds for one. There's five of these on your car. So there's 2,000 pounds worth of servos on your car to start with. And that may not be your trouble because you've probably heard about the famous HVAC controller. Well, the one of these will set you back nearly 2,000 pounds. So you're still not in a position where you absolutely know that you're gonna have everything working, even if you bought this and bought that because you've still got a wiring loom in the way as well. So our goal is to produce a kit which basically replaces all of this um, for a reasonable amount of money so that you can start with everything new and have a totally reliable system. So this is where we're up to with the blower box redesign. If you want to see what we're doing with the uh, update to the controller, please subscribe, follow the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.